All right, hello everyone. This is Iron Commander. Today I will do uh, my best to cast a game. Uh, it's a 3v3 game on Van Horn. I forget the full name. And we're having some connectivity issues to start it off. It's casted live. Uh, let's just go ahead and introduce the uh, players. Uh, spawning to the uh, on team one down here to the south, we have Cassidy as Cypern going for two research station. Then we have the one, the only Fortuna, uh, going for air, air uh, in the correct location. Then we have Killerfish uh, going for a land factory. He elects for no research. This is interesting. And those three guys are playing Manolo, who is going for two research into land, and nuclear pizza. Scary. And Alpha Hex, also very scary. So I would certainly say that this team over here, the North team, is uh, very powerful. And, uh, you know, not to take anything away from the bottom team, but having Alpha Hex and Nuclear on your team is certainly uh, helpful. Uh, so Alpha Hex is going for a triple research station. He's probably going to go for structure cost reduction. Probably the same for Nuclear. He has gone for a quick air factory to get this quick scout out. He's going to get the scout for Alpha Hex uh, first. He's going to, since Alpha Hex doesn't have any defensive units and needs to respond, while it's a little bit safer up here, and his nuclear is going to send uh, the second scout over to the uh, north side. Uh, so let's see here. Fortuna has skipped a research station, or has not des decided not to go for a research station, and instead gone for two air factories. So he will have a bit of a, an air advantage early on. Um, probably not big difference, but it does matter, of course. Oddly, Killerfish went for one factory and then one research station, which is not a very efficient build. Uh, you, at, at best, you're going to have uh, one, one, two, two uh, tanks out more than uh, uh, had you just gone for research station first. But the research does, um, you know, does matter more early on. Especially on a map like this, where you're not really at risk of, of dying to anything. So, let's see. Who do I like best between Manolas, Manolo's build and Killerfish's build? Certainly Manolo, Manolo's build. It seems like he is gearing up for uh, tele. I mean, I imagine he would go for teleport, um, and uh, he would get it before Killerfish. Killerfish is going to go for a little bit more of an eco, although this will be at risk uh, if he doesn't get some more stuff going here. I feel like he should have more mass, but maybe not. Let's go down to the bottom again. Cassidy, just hanging out, building... Oh, this is Megalith. It's clear that it's Megalith because of the number of power generators. Uh, right now we are at seven power generators. And I don't know if he or she or whatever went for structure cost reduction. I don't think so, since there's only two research stations and seven mass extractors. I feel like you could squeeze in another research station then, had you gone for structure cost reduction. Alpha Hex, on the other hand, certainly gonna go has gone for structure cost reduction, and he probably has gone into... Well, he might not have spent his research yet, but he is getting his... One, two, six. Power generator just came online, so he is also ready for mega lifts. Uh, probably hasn't spent his research yet, and um, uh, maybe is waiting for a bit of an opportunity to see if he could just go for ACU upgrades and get us get a kill. Uh, certainly, that is possible. He has sent an engineer up here. That's interesting. Maybe this is uh, to help with AA, or ah. Uh, it's probably to get a radar, since uh, the Cypern radar is so much better than everyone else's when it's upgraded. Alright, so we got Alpha Hex, he decided on Megaliths. We got Cassidy, decided on Megaliths. Cassidy's is a little bit earlier, so indicating to me that there has been no structure cost reduction here. While over here, not only do we have two extra research stations, we also have a delayed Megalith. Uh, go, uh, gaunt or whatever however you pronounce it and um, that certainly indicates structure cost reduction lots of talk about structure cost reduction in this game 
Um, let's see. No, no action on the air front. There's a problem for the southern team. They don't have great air coverage. So their air can't really be used for anything. This raider sucks. And as I correctly note, well, uh, as, I, uh, as was clear, uh, this engineer came up here to build a raider. Uh, taking advantage of that radar range, uh, he uh, uh, Alpha X is going to be able to see a, a good chunk of the opponent's side of the map, while the bottom team will at most be able to see to the ramp. And up here, they're not even going to see ha half across this ramp. Maybe, maybe up to here. So um, what I'm trying to say is really that the air player cannot do anything with his air since he doesn't know where the other. Uh, uh, he doesn't know how much. Uh, uh, you can't really uh, safely move around without worrying, am I going to hit uh, my opponent's air force? I mean, obviously he sees it on the radar now, but um, you, he wouldn't be able to go harass over here without being completely in the dark. Okay, so we're about to hit the timing for teleport, depending on which route he went down. I would expect the bottom boom to come out. That uh, helps you know, everything in its range uh, by increasing uh, health uh, including allies error or what anything really except for an ACU I believe oh okay so Cassidy has transferred into a land factor here probably gonna be going for some adapters probably first a shield it seems and a tower so he's actually afraid which is strange because Fortuna probably has more air what are the upgrade differences? 1, 2, 60 to 900. That's also a little strange. Oh, okay, 900. So 1,035. Now he, Fortuna just dis, uh, uh, decided to spend his research and he has gone for the shield route. Uh, I would be careful here if I was uh, nuclear pizza. This could go either way. No flares yet, it seems. So nuclear pizza is really hitting the the best timing he could hope for I, I guess but at the same time he does have a research advantage so he just could have he could have kept yeah so he lost air those shields did did what they needed to do and uh, we got one uh, we got the 30% uh, health increase on these plus one training at least or yeah that's what it seems but nuclear lost air he's gonna be able to get that back uh, if he just hangs back and um, Maybe we should see some some Harbox, uh coming out from Manolo, and some adapters coming out from Alpha Hex just to uh, make sure the tides turn. Now this is a bit scary. Alpha needs some AA. And we have um, Killerfish who deciding now to go across. Let me just turn this on so we can see the scores. Um, this this is really a, 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 should be a green light telling Manolo move in. He needs to move in now. Uh, he can go for the snipe. He can kill him right now, but uh, he's not doing that, unfortunately. Uh, we do see the bottom booms from Yellow, or Killfish, who has caught significantly up in research. He's now at four, about about to be on four. Okay, Manolo does make the correct call. Does he have? Come on, just. What's going on here? Just uh, teleport on in. Let's go for the snipe. These are very low. So how did that happen? Is there a bomb? Bombing? Okay, move it. Yes, okay. So green is gonna win this battle pretty easily. There was a significant uh, overbuilding of bottom booms from orange. And uh, let's see on the okay, and they have more training as well. The green has more training on his on his land, so he has about um, wow. Okay, that's because the bottom booms from the other guy, uh, the orange is, is is are dead. Over here we missed uh, Megal of dying, and uh, yeah, this is over. Uh, the only thing that's going well for the southern team here is the uh, fact that there's still air. But um, if we just get some Harvox plus. Um, adapters, this will be over. Um, 
let's see if Green decides to lose all of his land to this explosion or decides to teleport out. Decides to lose it all. That's okay. Um, Alright, we got a cicada. Really good. should get some adapters. But I understand this cicada move. You're up against a megalith, so you don't want to be the person who doesn't have a cicada once that, uh, if the opponent gets one and you don't have one, you don't have error. So this is reasonable. I imagine that uh, adapters will be coming out after uh, now that um, you know he's got the cicada. So let's see. What should the southern team do here? Really, uh, only thing I can think of, because they are quite... Uh, well, Green needs to, first of all, get some AA, mobile AA. Hard rocks would be preferred. Okay, he goes for the mobile AA. Um, okay, good. The bottom boom. This bottom boom needs to be teleported in here right now, but it's not. It's not being teleported. Why should it? Because the air would get a buff. Uh, nonetheless, uh, the game has been, uh, or the air fight has been won by uh, Nuclear Pizza. I think he tried uh, to go for a snipe there for Tuna. Didn't quite work out. He could have done that. Oh, uh, there's the cicada. I guess he couldn't. So yeah, I, I, I don't want to call it too early, but this looks pretty over. But what I was trying to say before, what should the southern team do? Not there's not much they could do. I mean, you got to retain your air and expand over here. Get you you you, you or go for a snipe. And if Fortuna tried to go for a snipe, it didn't work out. Uh, Fortuna could also have gone for uh, eco and expanded while doing so, as in like attacking his opponent's eco while um, expanding and catching up. But that is too late now. Uh, Fortuna is going to be behind on research. How many does... Okay, still just one, but this has been going all game. And Fortuna just got his research station up online. He did get a lot of good kills, so got got some research from that, but it's... it's would be... Uh, probably would be in Nuclear's favor. 1530... 1530... to 25 plus shields plus flares. Uh, as as a Aeon on this map, it is much better to go for a uh, Harvox. So if Nuclear had not won the air right now, first of all, this wouldn't have been able to push, but this also would not have been able to push. But if you had gone Harvox, it would have been able to, you would have easily been able to push. Just uh, should have, you know, spread out your units when bombings happen. All this energy is pretty vulnerable. It probably is floating, so it doesn't matter if you kill it, but uh, maybe you could stall production. Okay, the possible fight here. We've got oh, Cicada's offline. Not good for nuclear. He's going to fall back to the Cicada right here. He needs to, at least. Uh, nuclear. Okay, this is gonna this is gonna destroy Fortuna's eco now. I mean, he could mess up here and just clump up his units and lose all of it. But there is, you know, if you control these units well, you can take out all of this, all of this. Okay, don't spread them out, spread them out. Decent, good. Now. Move th yeah, okay, whatever. Um. Uh, he's not, he should be, um, don't teleport. Spread them out. Not spread, and there it is. So, you got some core mexes, that's great. Plus two more. Still could have been a, l a lot more damage there, I think. Uh, it, it's irrelevant, really, uh, at this point. Red is not going to be able to break this. 
Fortuna's economy is broken, and he's not going to be able to. Uh, he's paused the air factories. He's going to have to rebuild this mass, which is now no longer vetted. It's got um, two mass extractors. Oh, three. Three out of four vet. Oh, no, never mind. Ah, Harvux. There it is. Data goes online. So a lot of people don't know this, but if you turn on a cicada while units are already shooting at say your megalith, the units will keep shooting at the megalith even though it's hidden. Alvags knowing this correctly uh, moved out a little bit and then turned it on. Okay, yeah. Uh, Bomb bouncer. So he went for bomb bouncer. Training this the, the discrepancy between these two. Probably huge right now. We have 14,000 versus. Oh, never mind. Maybe that was better. No. So, okay. I don't know what. Uh, I guess he went for bomb bouncer instead of cicada. So, doesn't really have. Wrong. And Fortuna gives up. Decent game. Fun. Thanks for watching.